Welcome back guys to another video and today we're gonna talk about PCI Express risers which one are the worst and which one are the best. Now since your mining rig will need a lot of them, maybe 5 or 6 of them, it is really important that they are quality components that won't set your house on fire. Because if only one of them fails, it can catch your whole house on fire. Just the same as if your power supply fails. That's why power supplies have short circuit protections, under voltage and over voltage protections, but some of those risers have almost nothing. Because there is not even one PCI Express riser maker that you have probably ever heard of, because you can't buy them from maybe ASUS or ASRock or some other motherboard maker. You have to buy them from Chinese workshops that you never heard of. So let's start with the first one and build the way up to the best one. So the first riser that we have here is version 002 and this is one of the first risers that have ever hit the market. Now this riser is really the worst one and you should not even use it if you get it for free. You should just throw it in the trash because the other ones are so much better that this one has no way of uh, working stably. It has only three solid capacitors compared to other ones that have four all of them and it has Molex 2 SATA connector. Now SATA connector can only give 45 watts of power and Molex, Molex can give about 70 watts of power but it is drawing the power from your power supply from the SATA cable so it can only give your GPU 45 watts of power and if it tries to draw more power from your power supply than the SATA cable can provide it can throw a spark, it can melt and it can burn your house. Now I don't really like those Molex cables, I have thrown away all of them last week because I have noticed that if you really try to push them hard uh, into the socket right here, sometimes those cables can come out, it can short circuit them and it is not really a reliable source of power for your rig. So the next one we have right here is version 006. Now this is the most common version of the riser and you can buy them almost anywhere and I have about 10 of them but I am looking to replace them because I have noticed that there are really better versions of them that you can buy for almost the same price. So why is this the most common version? It has four solid capacitors that you can see right here on the picture and it can give your GPU power more stably than the one with three solid capacitors. Now the thing that I like on this one is that it uses six pin connector for your power supply but it still only uses SATA cable for driving the power from your power supply which is still pretty bad and you should be looking to replace them but they are a little bit more safe than the version 002 which is probably the worst one around. So the next one we have is version 007 and this one the only difference that I have found is that it has red LED and that's almost everything. There is really no much difference between them and they are probably the same as the version 006. And now we are starting to get to the best risers and which one you should probably use for your mining rig. So the next version is 008S. Now this one has three power options for you. It has SATA, it has Molex and it has six pin power connection for your riser. And it has a little bit different way of connecting to this little piece here. So it is horizontal and not vertical connection to your motherboard. It also has a red LED indicator that will tell you if your riser is working properly. Now you should never actually use those SATA or Molex connections right here. Only thing you should ever use is 6 pin connector right here because it can give up to 75 watts of power to your riser. And if your GPU is really overclocked, this will help save it and not burn your house down. And it is really important to choose the best risers that you can because you don't even know how important they are until they start sparking and they start breaking. Now this one I really like but there is one more version that is probably a little bit better than this one and it is the newest version that you can find on Amazon or on eBay and it is the version 9. So the version 9 has two 6 pin connectors and one SATA connector. So avoid this SATA connector right here and just connect one or two 6 pin power connectors right here. Uh, you can use only one 6-pin and it will be enough for your GPU, but if you want to go on the safest side, you can. And if you have a lot of 6-pin connectors on your power supply, be sure to connect both of those because you can never be too sure with risers. So, this is the one that I would choose and this is the one that I will choose for my next mining rigs and only this one. 
I'm not sure if you should mix and match them, if you can use version 9 with version 8 with version 7 and all of them together. Well, you actually can, but I'm not sure if they won't give you any problems. So, be sure to choose this one, the newest version you have right here, and probably this is the best choice that you can make. So, thank you guys for watching, let me know what kind of risers do you use, and see you soon in another video. Bye!